breaking news in from overnight. Tropical Storm Debbie has made its second landfall on the South Carolina coast. This is a live look in Charlotte where a flash flood warning had been issued as Debbie is moving closer inland. And Fox Carolina's first alert meteorologist, Catherine Noel, she has much more on what the system could be bringing here to the upstate. Yeah. Yeah, we do have, you know, a lot of rain in that area. Charlotte, off towards Raleigh, you can see those bands bringing in rain, causing flooding, too, within this area. Now, here at home, we're seeing those bands start to skirt off towards the west, and we're seeing those showers in parts of Gaffney, which we're going to talk about here. But this did make landfall a second time. Currently, Tropical Storm Debbie coming in. Most recent advisory. 5 o'clock, 50 mile per hour winds moving northwest. So we're going to see that continued pattern off towards the north and northwest pushing in to us here. Look at Gaffney. I mean, Cherokee County, when kids are about to head out to the bus stop, maybe currently right now, or getting ready to do so, we're seeing some moderate downpours. You just saw that radar move on in to that little new blip coming on through Gaffney towards Blacksburg down to Surratt areas like Cowpen starting to see those showers too. It's going to be over 85. If you travel that way, certainly watch out for those wet roadways, that highway there down towards Lockhart into Carlisle, some moderate rain too. off towards Union starting to see some light rain due to the outer band pushing on through into Joanna here shortly. We're going to continue to see this move on through pushing west towards Spartanburg around eight o'clock this morning. Greenville staying dry for when kids head out to the bus stop when school starts, but it comes shortly after that clipping Greenville County around 10 11 noon now down towards Lawrence and Greenwood Newberry with heavy rain too, even off towards our Easter counties, Easter Lee County that is from Cherokee down towards Union and Newberry clipping Greenville when kids head home from school most likely an isolated shower is going to be a possibility where we start to dry out as those remnants move off towards the north and northeast later on today into tomorrow. So your rainfall forecast if you're off towards the west of Greenville, you're likely going to be dry. If anything, you could get up to an inch. I think that's probably being a, a little excessive with that. But zero to two for most of Greenville. And then higher totals, of course, off toward the bulk of this is going to be that central part towards Charlotte. One to three for areas like Gaffney. It's going to be a breezy day, too, though. This is something that I think many are going to come and have to deal with as we go on throughout the day with winds gusting up to 30 to 35 miles per hour with a massive temp range, too, due to the cloudy conditions and the rain sticking off towards the east into Spartanburg, into Lawrence, into Union Prosperity. That's why you're going to have the 70s, where we have some 80s and 90s off towards Tacoa with more sunshine. Gusty conditions, though. So from the get-go, almost, from Greenville off towards the east, Gaffney, even... Uh, even upward of 35, potentially close to 40 mile per hour wind gusts when kids are headed home from school today, too, for that first day around 3, 4 o'clock. Then we start to get those winds to push on out and become much calmer and lighter as we go into overnight into tomorrow. But a lot to talk about clearly and even with those impacts off towards the 77 corridor close by bringing in lots of rain, lots of wind, too. We have coverage of this team coverage that is with meteorologist Christy Kohler. There she is with a look at what we can expect and when we actually get some clearing from this too as well, Chrissy. <laughs> yeah, we're all looking forward to that, aren't we? When we finally can say goodbye to Debbie, uh, we're going to get through today and then we can move on from this. But as we take a look at what's going on, you've got some of those heaviest rain bands working their way up through North Carolina. We've had several tornado warnings here to the east of the Raleigh area, as well as some heavy rain bands working their way just to our east here through the Charlotte area. As Catherine Noel mentioned here through Charlotte, that I-77 corridor down towards Rock Hill, you have flash flood warnings in effect right now. Uh, these are just outside of Cherokee and Union County, just to your east, where we've got those flash flood warnings, some of those heavy rain bands working their way through right now. Uh, Debbie is expected to continue on to a northeaster, northwesterly track, excuse me, uh, starting to pick up a little bit of speed today, moving up and over the Florence area by the time we get to about 2 o'clock this afternoon, and then lifting up into North Carolina late this, after, uh, this evening and into tomorrow morning. By Friday morning, it's nearing Virginia as a tropical depression and then racing up to the northeast as we head throughout the weekend. So again, some of the heaviest rain working its way through right now. You're going to continue to see those heavy rain bands, a lot of that moving into North Carolina through the Charlotte area and some of those rain bands trying to wrap around back into the Midlands as well as into our eastern area, as Catherine was just telling you. But look at some of these heavier rain bands that still are going to take aim at the coast. So even the coastal area is not completely done with this. That last final push of rain moving through overnight 
tonight and then we'll finally be done with this as we look ahead towards about eight o'clock tomorrow morning. So for our forecast headed into this weekend, big improvements after our first alert weather day today where we're going to see those scattered showers and some of those gusty winds tomorrow. The winds come down. It's hot and humid as we head into the day. Copy and paste as we head into the day on Saturday. Then Sunday we're looking at a break in the humidity upper 80s and that break in humidity actually lasting into the early part of next week. If we do see anything tomorrow in terms of those isolated shower and thunderstorm chances Friday, Saturday and Sunday, that is unrelated to Debbie. That's really just a pop up shower or thunderstorm chance for this weekend. What is